Hello, welcome to this uh, video. We are looking at biology, uh, paper two, uh, question paper from 2022. So, figure 1.1 1 .1 shows two generalized cells, F and G, of living organisms. So, you have this cell and this cell. Identify the part labeled H, okay? So we identify the part labeled H. This is very simple. So the part labeled H here, when you look at this cell, uh, it has only one layer that is covering it. Eh? So the part labeled H here, it is simply the cell, the cell membrane. Okay, it is the cell membrane. Okay the cell membrane so we know that this is actually an animal an animal cell okay so this is the cell membrane how does part h differ from i okay no so now i we have to know what i is i is the cell wall okay it is the cell wall and this one is only found in plant cells okay so we can safely say cell f is an animal cell cell g is a plant cell so how does h differ okay how does h differ okay so you can say that h okay is selectively permeable what do we mean when we say it is selectively permeable we are simply saying that h only selects certain substances to pass through it okay it is selectively permeable it does not allow everything okay it only allows certain substance certain substances to pass through it that's what so permeability the word permeable comes from permeability it simply means uh the rate at which the substances are entering this cell okay that's what it means so i find that it simply allows it selects okay the permeability of h it selects okay it is selectively permeable okay then we can say while okay while i i is we know what i is the cell is completely permeable meaning it simply allows everything that can pass through it to pass through it is completely okay it is completely completely permeable So that is the difference okay and i've explained okay so that is the difference S explain the function of structure j so now structure j this is a, a space and it is usually mostly found in the uh, plant cell okay and this one is called the vacuole it's called the vacuole so what is the function of this uh, of the vacuole so the vac you can say that it stores cells up okay okay so um the function i like we are saying it is usually we can just say it stores uh, cells up okay it stores what we call cells up the vacuum which is j okay so i'm just going to say it stores it stores it stores cells up okay it stores cell sap okay let's look at the rest of the questions to which group okay to which group of living organisms does cell, cell f belong to okay so we've already said this one belongs to uh, the animal okay 
these are animals okay it's an animal cell okay let's look at b uh, b says figure 1.2 shows the cell organization in a multicellular organism so it starts with organelles okay so there is a word here that we use to memorize this very simple this thing shouldn't even uh, stress anyone octoso okay so organelle cell okay so here it's a cell tissue tissues there or oh, that's organ system organism okay octo so yeah so you are done with this one we are done okay cell m is organ got the questions that i identify okay we've already identified step the level of a cell organism at which muscles would be found okay so where do muscles belong to now okay so we remember we have octoso we have octoso so organelles okay a, a group of organelles will make a cell and a group of cells will make a tissue and a group of tissue will make what uh, an organ so when you look at muscles muscles are actually a group of cells okay muscle cells so a group of muscle cells it's what a tissue okay it's a tissue so that is what a tissue give an example of a system in plants and in animals so system comes here so uh, so uh, you can talk of the vascular system in um, plants what is this vascular system you write that nicely uh, vascular vascular system is a transport system in plants okay vascular system Here you can talk about uh, the digestive system or the cardiovascular system which is a transport system in animals okay these are the answers let's go to question two okay uh, sorry Okay, figure 2.1 shows the table of substances absorbed by the plant. Wonderful. Okay, so now um, let's see what this says. Identify the substances which enters. So osmosis, main osmosis is for water. It is simply the diffusion of water molecules. Active transport is for um, ions okay and uh, things like uh, these nitrates and potassium okay so here you can mention any either nitrate or potassium okay these go by active transport or potassium can also go here so diffusion you're talking about gases now okay And here you are good to go. Okay, let's go to the next questions that follow. Okay, so figure 2.2 is a graph showing the effect of pH on the rate of enzyme controlled reactions N and O. What term is given to the path labeled X and Y? So there, this one, that part is called the optimum. So this is a, so the hue, when you're looking at reactions, the hue is called the optimum uh optimum condition okay it is called the optimum write it here it is called the optimum
optimum condition. So now the optimum condition is just a play, a, a point within the reaction where the reaction will, ha will happen at best. Okay, so this is why it will happen at best. The reaction will be very good. This part and this part. Which reaction is under acidic? Which reaction is under acidic? So you can see this is pH. Eh? So above seven, going this side. This is alkaline. This side is acid. So acidic, it's reaction X. Okay, acidic, it's reaction what X, and you're good to go. Okay. Got you. So which reaction could only be for protein? Give a reason. Okay. So when you look at these reactions, the one which we said is acidic was this one. It is acidic. I have said acidic is uh, pH below 7. Okay. So the question is asking which reaction would involve proteins. Okay. So proteins, they work. Proteins are digested in acidic condition. Okay. They are digested in a so which reaction could only be for protein food so the reaction is reaction x okay so reaction x okay so the reason is that enzymes okay enzymes write that nicely enzymes 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 for proteins enzymes for proteins okay uh, work enzymes for proteins work under under acidic condition okay under acidic condition Right, then you explain the role of enzymes in metabolism. What is the role of enzyme? Okay, enzyme, what do they do? They speed up reactions. Okay, they speed up reactions. Okay, both catabolism and anabolism. Okay. Go to three. Identify the parts labeled P and Q. So this one is the esophagus. Okay, this one is the esophagus. Esophagus. Q. That's the stomach. When the function of the part labeled R, we have to state what it is. This is a pancreas. So what does its functions? Okay, it's what I'll just say it to release. So it releases certain uh, fluids here, what we call pancreatic juice. Okay, so it will release pancreatic juice. We call this pancreatic juice. And this pancreatic juice mixes with the food here as the food is coming out of the stomach. So the food comes out of the stomach and this pancreas will release this juice and this juice will mix with the food. Now this juice contains enzymes and uh, these enzymes, it, has, it contains lipase. Okay, lipase will break down lipids to fatty acid and glycerol. It also contains uh, trypsin. Trypsin will continue the digestion of proteins, which starts in the in the stomach. And also, you have amylase. Amylase, which will continue the digestion of starch. So this one, we can say, since it comes from the pancreas, it is called pancreatic lipase. And this one will be called pancreatic water. 
amylase okay we have the answers for this okay we got to see state two function of the part labeled s what is s s that's the liver so the liver is involved in actually storing some vitamins okay it stores certain vitamins as vitamin k and also the liver is also involved in releasing bile which uh it forms bile and that bile is stored in the gallbladder the bile what does it do uh, so uh, you're talking about uh bile okay so bile is formed in the liver and it emulsifies fats into tiny droplets okay describe two common elements of the part labeled s the part labeled s is still the liver two common elements okay you can talk of liver cirrhosis liver cirrhosis and the famous hepatitis okay all these are uh, ailments of the of the liver okay so i don't want to make this video quite too long we can uh, we'll continue the next part in our next video so please uh, i hope you've enjoyed answering these questions if you're watching this for the first time please hit the subscribe button if you want to join tuitions please you can always just uh, contact us using this number okay use this number to contact us we'll join you to the to the tuition uh, group okay so see you in our next video